Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Cruise Ship. I want to first start off by saying thank you guys to uh, all of you that have stuck with this series uh, up to this point. This series was one of the most asked for uh, series by you in the comment section saying, you know, build a, build a cruise ship, do a Let's Build a Cruise Ship series. However, a lot of people just don't realize how big and how long it takes to do a, uh, a cruise ship. They're huge. They're big builds. And it takes a long time to get it to a point where it becomes easy to build. There's a lot of sort of hard work that you need to do to begin with. And once you get past that point, which we pretty much have now, it comes together super, super fast. And uh, if you guys are still watching this, then I really, really appreciate it, and I really, really thank you. For those of you that lost attention and aren't watching this video, I'm sorry that I didn't get it uh, to this point any quicker. But I don't want to cut. I don't like cutting out too much of the stuff. You know, obviously there's some things that I need to cut out. You know, doing the back and doing the front and stuff like that. They're really long jobs, and uh, once you get the pattern down, they're very simple and very repetitive. Therefore, they don't make the best content. They become a little bit dull and a little bit boring. Um, but yeah, just just thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate the support that you guys give on this series. Um, and I, I'm glad that you are enjoying it. I'm glad you all really like it. Uh, those of you that do watch it. Because it's, uh, it's not easy to do. And it takes an awful long time for me to do just one of these episodes. Uh, because of just how purely big this thing is. But anyway, today... We're going to hopefully be sort of getting to a point where this side is looking nearly complete. We're just sort of following the contours of each line around the building now. Filled in that last final gap, which obviously we had set up to be uh, in line with the windows from last episode. And uh, it, it, it's if you saw it like at this angle, it almost looks like a complete bow. Obviously, you can see through at the moment, but it, it's almost getting to that point. Uh, the windows. Obviously, I've been asking over the last couple of episodes, what sort of uh, window block should we use? We have loads of options. We have normal glass. We have packed ice. We have stained glass. We have blocking them up with just black blocks. Uh, and, and yellow blocks if we want the lights to appear on. Some people said sort of glowstone. So I think the first thing that we need to do is sort of do a test. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from here to here. And we're going to select these two rows of windows as our test points. So option number one is normal glass. Replace air with glass pane. Boom. That's what it would sort of look like. Imagine there was an interior though, but just sort of see the lines on the on the door on, on the windows. You can sort of see that there's glass there, but it's not that noticeable. The other one is packed ice. Um ice, which is 174. Replace glass pane with 174. That's packed ice. Now, I would prefer the packed ice to be back by one block if we were going to do that. But that's our second option. I actually prefer that over the normal glass. So that's sort of at the number one spot at the moment. The next one, um, which was really, really interesting, which I think might be my favorite, was actually black stained glass panes, 160 15. Now, black stained glass panes I found really interesting because they're dark. And you don't really think of that too much when it comes to windows. But we do use black blocks for windows. Like, you know, we use just pure black blocks to, to fill in windows that we don't want. So, uh, let's try this out. Uh, what number was that again? Black. 160.15. Oh, I did have one. I have, I have got them on my hotbar. You just can't see them. 160.15. Yeah, 160.15. So 174 with 160.15. And that's what a black stained glass looks like. Actually, it's not my favorite because of the lines that it puts in. It's not, it's not my favorite. And I thought it would be. That's actually really surprising. I thought that would be sort of my favorite look. Because I want... I really want you to be able to see through them, but if it doesn't look great with the ability to see through them, it's not going to be 
a, a good design, is it? So what about white stained clay, uh, white stained glass then? 160. I'll place 160.15 with 160. White stained glass, I think, is the winner. And I think you guys will agree. It looks reflective. It looks bright and fun. It looks like the sun is shining on it. From a distance, you can see the windows. Like, we can definitely see that there's something there and not there. Do you know what I mean? And when you get close to it, it sort of becomes more transparent. And let's say we're on the inside of the building. And we're in one of these rooms. You can still see out and see the ocean. I think that's it. I think white stained glass. I got it right. I didn't say clay. I always say clay. <laughs> white stained glass is going to be the one. Now, does that also mean that we're going to use white stained clay down below in this level? See where we've got these black blocks here? I want windows down the bottom here. Um, but I don't know if we're going to do them white stained glass or black stained glass. I, I, I thought, I really thought that black stained glass was going to be like the perfect block. I really did. But now, it, it, it didn't look good. Maybe black stained glass is, is better <laughs> Something right. on a smaller scale. But on this large scale, it I really didn't like it. So let's try there, there. This is a, a two by two window with two blocks between. Very easy pattern to replicate. And we don't want this all the way to the front. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to do like another one window. Yeah, one window there. So this is on, on height, what I'm going to call height A. And then I want some more windows down on height B, which is going to be down here. One, two, three. Well, not what well, I don't know why I'm counting. We just want to go uh, not all the way to the back of the boat. We want to go uh, just beyond the lifeboats, just a smidge beyond, maybe three windows beyond or something like that. So keep knocking these out. And how are we? We're nearly there. So that's at the end of the lifeboats. Then I'm gonna say I'm gonna. I'm going to go two either. One, two, no, I am going to do three. Three. Okay, now let's grab these windows. And uh, I'm going to see again with black stained glass. I'd really like these to be darker, but if not, the white stained glass could look really nice. So let's try that. Let's do it with, um, what was it, 116, 15 was black. Uh, yeah. Boop. So there's the black stained glass. Again, I, I I like that better than the black stained glass up there. I do like that a lot better. Let's try it with white stained glass. Let's see which one we prefer. See, I don't like that as much on those windows. No, I like the black. Oops. I like the black on these bottom windows, but the whites on those top ones. Gives a very nice um, contrast as well because this part, with white stained glass, it's like white on white, and it doesn't, you can't see it as well. But on this part, because we've got blocks that sort of overhang over, it makes these white snow blocks look a little bit darker, which is why the white stained clay seems to stand, uh, white stained glass seems to stand out a lot more. I don't know why I always say clay instead of glass. I just, I just always do. It's ridiculous. So there's the black ones there as well. I think that is really cool. I think that's a really nice touch. So, got to fill in all those windows. I tell you, these thinner windows might look good with black stained glass. So the top, bottom two levels are white. This one's black. And then the top ones are white. Maybe. Maybe. Let's do a test at this level here, at this side of the boat here, where we've already got these white ones. It'll give us sort of a, um, what would you say, like a test area. So we want these ones to be black. And then we want these ones above to be white. With probably the middle knocked out. Ah, no. Hold on. I did think of something that I want to do here. I want to bring these in a little bit. Maybe another block. And make the uh, balcony actually a little bit deeper. 
so let's just do it oops a test up to the same point as where we're doing the glass it's like a, a little test area for it uh, a few more to go and the last one I'm gonna say this is the last one yeah then we want white to actually come around these move the top and down the side and it sort of brings it back. Uh, we probably want to go. No, that's good. I was thinking about going another an extra block back, but I don't think that's going to make a huge amount of difference. Uh, over here, this part. This is a very important part of the build as well. Um, th this is sort of the aesthetical stage of of building the boat. We've sort of done the main, uh, the main sort of bulk build part. Uh, this is the sort of part where we make it look nice, the sides look nice, before we move on to the top. Okay, and then we want to go from here to there. So we've sort of set these back a little bit now. And then we want to just do them to 160. And probably take out these two bottom blocks. Maybe the three, actually. So then we get, like, the, the doorway is, like open to go through but we still have this sort of white line around the outside of glass i think that looks really cool so we'll have these going down oops the side here last one now let's back off see what our test area looks like now with that black in the middle do i like the black in the middle 50 percent of me likes it the other 50 percent of me doesn't I can see why I like it, but I can I can see why I don't like it. Let's change them out to white, and then that'll give us the uh, the answer. Let's make these white. If we like the white more, we'll keep it white. If we don't like it as much as the black, we shall uh, just undo and change it back. So, like that. Replace 160, 50. My belly rumbled with 160. So there's white all the way up. Let's go back, undo, redo. I'm flicking between them, trying to decide. I, I sort of like the black. I think I'm going to go with the black. That might be, that might be really torn between you guys, I'm sure. But I think I, I really prefer that. I think I do. Okay, I'm going to fill all these windows in, and I'm going to do these black parts up the top in these two sections here, and I shall be back. How did I forget about blue stained clay? <laughs> How did I do that? How did I forget about blue stained clay? Blue stained clay is what... Uh, glass, not clay. Blue, whenever I say blue stained something, it's usually going to be... Or anything stained, it's usually going to be glass, not clay. But we used blue for the front here, and then I forgot about it. I completely forgot until just now when I was doing the back. Um, let's try it. 163. Replace 160 by 163. That's what the blue... Undo. Redo. Undo. Redo. Oh. Undo. Redo. I don't know. I don't know what I prefer. Let's get it with the front in as well. Undo. Redo. I'm going to go with the blue for now. Your decision, your comment section decision for this episode is blue or white. Blue or white. That's, that's what you've got to choose between. And I do not know. I, have, I haven't got a clue what I prefer. Not a, not a dicky bird. I don't know. By the way, I've done all the black on the top. Uh, all the windows and I'll fill in, including all of those ones with the little doors in the middle. I was just, I just added all of the other windows to the back that you can see on the map there. You can start to see it come together. 
Um, I'm very, very pleased. I'm very, very chuffed on, on how we're getting there. Now, I want to work out this part here. At the moment, this is sort of giant, just a giant hole uh, in the ground. What I want to do is actually put down, I think, what's going to be a birch floor, be oops, floor behind it that goes back i don't know we want to go a few blocks back from it because you want enough room to be for people to get in i'm going to say to there and i know this is wool black it's not actually it's not actually birch wood it's actually black wool um so we're going to go replace air with wool black put all those in and then the same up here now this one no i'm not going to do it one block wide i'm going to keep it the same uh, but we do want to go, what is it, one, two blocks further back. One, two blocks further back. Because these uh, boats are set two blocks further back as well. So from there to there. And then what we want to do is sort of block all of this in now by what shouldn't be that difficult to do. There to there. Uh, replace air with snow blocks. I spelt blocks wrong, but it, it still allowed it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, game. So we'll have that from there to there. <laughs> we have done the world at up blue glass behind there. That doesn't matter. Um, oops. From here, from here to there. And the top. Do I want the top uh, on, on, the, on this level? Or on that level. I'm going to have to add another one anyway. Um, I think... Yeah, I think I sort of like the idea of having it sort of drop back a little smidge. So from that to that. That one to that one. And then from this one... Over to this corner. Now from the top it's going to look square. Like it looks like it's all, it's all boxed in. However, from when inside... You just... Oh, you, we, it did go boxy. Undo. I wanted to... Ah. Uh, from that one to one up. From here to that one. Ah, oh, I clicked the first position. <laughs> from here to here. I'll stand inside this time as well so I can double check real quick. Yeah, so we get this like little one block of lip here. I think that just is really cool when you come onto the inside here. You can sort of see a little bit of lip there. We need some lighting in here though, definitely. Beacons or glowstone, one or the other. Um, probably beacons would look the nicest. And then this bottom one is really, really simple because we just join it up to the level above. So we just join it up to there. Same with this one. Over to here. We're starting to lose all of our quick ways through from the inside and stuff. <laughs> Let's go on the inside and do that last one. Now this one doesn't have a lip. I'd like it to have a lip. What have we got? We've got two blocks above the boat there. And we've got three blocks of perfect. Three blocks above the boat there. So I can then have this here to give us that little lip that we liked on this level as well those along here next episode we might be able to start on the top that's pretty exciting well we need to we need to really finish off the front first but yeah that's looking really cool so everything's starting to get all all of it structured together now i think um i want a cool design on the front here i don't want it just to be like oak planks i want to have maybe this helicopter part half of it being uh, cyan clay in front uh, like th this block right here so let's say from halfway up the helipad I want cyan clay on that side but then on this side I want oak I don't know what one maybe birch oak because we've been using a lot of birch, uh, birch oak birch wood uh, because we've been using it already up there but I want it one block down so I'd actually want it down on this level and when we go close to the helipad you'll notice we're actually a block down well that doesn't matter because what we'll do is we'll just add another block around here and it'll make the helipad look 
thicker and bigger and better. I'm going to do that very quickly before we end off the episode, and I shall be back. Okay. Boop. So, we've got half of the front in here. I really like that design as well. I really like the idea of having grey at the front and then the birch at the back. It just... It's, a, it's different. It looks different. It looks better. Um, more colours, the, the, the better. This keeps happening. This one block here just keeps getting a lighting glitch. You watch. Boop. And it's gone. It just does it. Just that, just that one single block. I am really nervous, though. Uh, my initial plan, obviously, you know what my plan is to, uh, to do half of the boat and then copy, flip, and paste. However, I'm very, very nervous about what is gonna happen when we do that. Um, hmm. How am I gonna do that? I'll do it like that for the minute. Um, I'm very nervous about what's going to happen when we do that because obviously it takes a lot of power from a computer to be able to copy and paste uh, a lot of blocks. And uh, we're, uh, I'm asking my computer to paste a lot of blocks. Um, and uh, it, it's a little bit nerve wracking. So what I might do before I do that, probably next episode or so, I think it'll probably be next episode, is uh, end up rebooting my computer first. So my, it's like a fresh reboot, ready to go, it's, it's, it's powerfulness uh, as it's ever going to be, uh, because that's an awful lot of blocks. I don't even know how many blocks it is, but I think we're at the point now where copying, flipping, and pasting is going to really help out, because when we've got the other side done, any other changes that we make to the sides, we'll be able to um, edit on the other side easily we're not going to make any huge game breaking changes i do need to add these lines going on that side around the back of the boat as well uh, continue on these two lines as well going around the side of the boat but once we've got those two pretty much the color scheme maybe the grays as well will sort of fold around uh, but once we've got those sort of the majority of that kind of stuff's done it's just about adding little feature details, the anchor, maybe a little name down the side, some little holes to let water drain out of, because uh, obviously the water gets in the boat to make it stable, you need those sort of holes. Um, we need some more windows around this back area as well, these types of windows, uh, just around the back. So there's a few more windows, so maybe I'll, maybe we'll start next episode with doing that, and then halfway through the episode copy and paste it around. But I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. On the map, we're starting to see a boat. We're starting to see a boat. And I cannot wait to see that on the map fully done. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. We shall see you in the next episode.